Over the past 24 hours, the new diadem in Final Fantasy XIV has seen a lot of players wonder in confusion on how to get the eye level 280 weapons, and how to complete the emergency mission that spawns. This is Opus 1, and in this video, I'm going to cover my understanding of the fight and explain the basics of what I've seen. I'd like to premise by saying that I personally haven't completed one of the emergency missions, but I've been keeping up on Reddit and YouTube videos to see what most people are doing and how they're managing it. The first enemy you'll encounter in the Marquee Portal is a Headstone. This enemy is fairly simple and casts a raid-wide AoE that does about 14 to 15,000 damage to all players. The healers will simply need to top up people before the next cast of this. Once the Headstone has been dealt with, four portals will appear around the room, each with their own aspected elements. Wind, Ice, Lightning and Arcane. It doesn't matter which portal you take at the start, as they will each teleport you to the outer ring of the main arena. This is where most people get confused and it can easily lead to an unrecoverable state at this point. Understanding the next part requires knowledge of a priority system, what to kill and when. It is also important to note that dying at this point will not throw you out of the raid, but respawn you at the entrance of the portal. Elemental sprites named Woes of the Marquee will continuously spawn from the crystals around the arena. These adds must be killed before they reach the center of the arena and destroy the Binding Stone. If the Binding Stone is destroyed, Buer, a giant flaming red lion, will spawn, and he will buff all the adds to deal incredible and uncontrollable damage. So you want to prevent this at all costs. This makes the Woes of Marquee the first priority for DPS. The next thing that the group wants to kill are the two presidential hounds that also spawn in the middle of the arena. Tanks should pick these up and hold aggro, while DPS clean up the elemental sprites and DPS the doggies down. At this point, no one should have pulled any of the other mobs near the crystals, as pulling these will lead to more AoEs and more damage that can get out of hand if the hounds and sprites are still alive. For this reason, priority 2 for the raid should be to kill the presidential hounds. With the hounds down, you can start focusing on the crystals around the arena. These crystals are all protected by elemental legatus creatures that cleave and do high amounts of damage. You don't want to fight these guys all at once, and instead take two or three parties to deal with each one at a time. I suggest going from lightning to ice to wind and then to arcane. This makes it easier when you respawn, as you can start at the lightning portal and work clockwise. Remember, pulling multiple legatus is a bad idea, as they will run wild if the party goes down. Furthermore, the raid still has to deal with woes that are respawning, and protect the binding stone. Take this part slowly and methodically, as it can be the most dangerous part. I believe that once the crystals and corresponding legatus are destroyed, the woe sprites will no longer spawn from that location. Take them down one by one, before Buer spawns. Once Buer spawns, all the other adds should be dead. The arena should be clear for mechanics, dodging, healing and positioning. A tank should pick up Buer and keep him facing in one direction. From what I've seen, there's not much more to this fight other than dodging and DPSing down Buer. There also seems to be a mechanic that involves stacking a number of people within the glowing circles when they light up, but I haven't seen this myself, so I'm unsure about how it works exactly. And unfortunately, I don't have any footage yet. Nonetheless, with this explanation of the fight, I hope more people understand what to do when an emergency mission spawns, and I hope that this guide helps in the success of many groups visiting the diadem. Let me know if there are any factors I've overlooked. As I said, I haven't managed to clear this myself, so maybe there are missing details here and there. Let me know in the comments, leave a like, and share this video around with friends or your FC. Music today, again, was provided by the fabulous Matt Fuss. Check out his YouTube channel uh, in the description below or on the link in the video. And until next time, this is Opus1 signing off.